what's up everyone welcome back to fake bougie in today's video i wanted to do a review on a wig that i had purchased from Ulyssa hair if you are interested stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe and if you are new to my channel welcome and i hope you become a part of the fake bougie family but we need to get into this so let's get into this I have on my loungy business attire today because I mean business in this video. So first I wanted to go over the specs of the hair, like just show you all like everything about it. So in December from Yalissa, I ordered the Body Wave number 27 Honey Blonde. I got it in a 24 inch medium cap, 200 density. It has a 13 by four lace front made out of Swiss lace. The hairline was supposed to be pre-plucked and it was supposed to have natural baby hair. Hold on, I wanna give y'all like the day it was ordered and the actual date that it was delivered to me. Okay, so I ordered the wig on, D wait, I ordered on November 30th. They shipped it out on December 4th and I received it on December 11th. So first I want to talk about like the good stuff about the wig and then I'll get into like the tragedy that was this wig. Okay, so when I first got it, you know, it's wonderful. Everything's fine. Just like a relationship, the beginning is always perfect and wonderful. I loved, loved the color of it. It's so hard. Like, not everybody sells honey blonde wigs, like full honey blonde. Most people, like, the roots will be a different color or it'll be some type of ombre. Like, nobody does, like, a good honey blonde wig. So, I was really happy to find it. I was excited to buy it. Um, Another pro was that, and I'm, I wrote this down, y'all. Like, I mean business. <laughs> So another pro was that the install at home was simple. So when I first wore it, I did install it myself. I just cut the lace. I didn't pluck um, any hairs or anything. I just cut the lace and braided my hair and put it on. And it looked beautiful. It was gorgeous. Another pro is that I didn't need to bleach the knots. They were already bleached. The hairline looked good without me, you know, bleaching or plucking or anything. It was wonderful. I wore it flat ironed and it was gorgeous. I loved it with the flat iron. It was so flowy, but it also held a really good curl because it was body wave. So that's the one thing I love about good body wave hair. You can curl it and flat iron it and it still looks good and it can still go back into its natural state if it's decent hair. So now I'm gonna tell y'all how I cared for it. So when I buy wigs, like I'm like, I wouldn't say cautious, but I take really good care of it just like it's my own hair. Like I don't play about it. That's an investment to me. That's a lot of money that I'm spending to add basically to my wardrobe because a wig is like a part of your wardrobe so I, wa I would wash it with biotin shampoo the biotin and collagen shampoo i would condition it with color treated conditioner well conditioner that is made for color treated hair by cream of nature like the same products i use in my hair i use on this wig and i am natural so all of these are like really good products. Um, after I would wash and shampoo it, I would leave. I would use the Garnier leave-in conditioner, and I would also put a little bit of oil in it just to make sure that it doesn't get like dry. Um, every night I would always wrap it. I always had my bonnet on. If I was wearing it curly, I always put the flexi rods on it. If I had it flat ironed, I would just do a twist and pin it up and put my bonnet on. So this hair was pampered in every way possible let's get into these cons so before i get into the cons i just want to say when i installed it at home i left it on for probably like a week and a half maybe like 10 days just waiting on my appointment to get it done professionally so then it was installed professionally and i had it like that for about two weeks yeah, it was installed professionally for two weeks. And then that third week, it started to um, slip back, you know, like the glue wears off after a while. So I got it done again by the same person professionally. But when I went back to her the second time, she was like, hmm, some of, I don't know, this wig is kind of iffy to me. And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, I don't know, it's just, you know. 
and that was her reaction to it so you know she installed it it looks good after like the end of that install that second install i noticed the hair starting to get frizzy so like that second install this was probably like let me see one two three four this is probably like the fifth week of me wearing the wig and it started like matting a lot not just at the nape but like if i had the hair down the hair would like like not matte but like tangle even though it was flat iron so i was constantly combing it and stuff it did like to be wet so I wore it curly a lot too because I started noticing it was rejecting the flat arm like it would tangle and stuff. So I didn't mind wearing it curly. I would like wet it, wear the little natural curl that it had to it. So one of the main things that myself and my um, hairstylist at the time didn't like about the wig is that it was 13 by 4. And their 4 was like, it was really short. Like literally it, it was like this so my part stopped short and then because of that it was hard to hide um the track that starts the back of the hair after the frontal so that was the first con that we noticed and like i said the second con was that it started changing after like the five to six week mark now after i told you i was like wearing it curly i was like doing what the hair wanted basically again pampering it to the fullest then I started noticing, like, even with that, the hair quality was just slowly deteriorating. And it literally went from perfectly fine for, like, five straight weeks to then immediately it just started changing. And then right after that, immediately it was horrible. It was like the more you washed it, even though you are, you know, deep conditioning it, and put in this oil and leave-in conditioner like doing everything that you would do if it was still attached to someone's head and treating it like curly hair it wasn't having it so every like the the second time i went back to my hairdresser she also noticed that it was she said it got shorter i didn't notice but she said it's a little shorter like and I had noticed at the time, I didn't notice until it was like visibly clear that it was shorter because like, you know, when you, when hair tangles so much and you're combing it so much, you're losing length. That's why people don't like hair that sheds. Like you lose length every time it sheds and you have to detangle and brush it out. And I didn't even do like hard brushes. I would try my best to like work out the tangles and stuff, but it, it got to a point where it wasn't even tangles. It was like a full on matte like the hair was literally matting up in clumps like for no reason so after the sixth week the second professional install i just took it out i switched up my hairstyle i didn't wear it i left the wig alone for like two months like it was deep conditioned and um put on flexi rods and just left alone so then i had like braids and i had like other like styles um, and so I was like, okay, I want to go back to a wig. I want to wear this wig. Like I like my blonde wig. I want to give it another chance. So she, the same person installed it again. And this time it was like visibly shorter. Like you could definitely tell it had gotten shorter because it went from like here to like up here. Like it was so visibly short. And so she styled it and it looked cute. And when I tell y'all, from the moment I left her chair to when I made it to my car and began to pull off, it was already matted in the back. Like, I could no longer do like this. And she curled it, and she told me, she was like, you're going to have to keep this with a curl in it. Like, there's, you're not going to be able to wear it flat. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Y'all, that didn't, like, that install didn't even last a week. It was basically a waste of money at that point because... Even with the flexi rod, like it kept matting up and I would have to wear the hair like in big curls and I'll insert a clip actually from a video that I had done and you could see like how big the curls had to be just to keep it from matting up. And it just seemed like the bigger the curl, the less it tangled, but it still tangled. And if you tried to do like small, cute curls, it would just turn into a, a mat. Like it was horrible. It looks like a ball of fur, basically. And so now I want to show you all the hair. <laughs> like, this is its current state. And this is like, uh, okay, so. This is the current state of the wig. 
like I said, it's so much shorter. It's different length just because of, you know, that. Like you can see how short this piece is. This side is really short. See this stops right here. And it's still like the color is still beautiful. I just wish and it's like a lot of black strands in it. I don't know if those are like fillers because I find it hard to believe that they were able to get the hair this color. Yeah, there are fillers in here. I can see them. Yeah, this isn't even hair. This is a piece of thread and it just tangles like it tangles, tangles, tangles. So you literally have to keep it curled like this to wear it and I hate that so much because even with that it still gets tangled like there's no way to wear it. like I can't even wear it anymore and I'm so disappointed and I feel like because I watched like three different reviews from different youtubers before I even bought this wig and I feel like when you like for youtubers who get sent free hair they may be giving you an accurate review. So like if I would have reviewed this hair, like the first two to three weeks that I had it, it would have been an amazing review because the hair was amazing. But typical like working women, I like to get a bang for my buck. So I like to do installs more than once in the same wig. Like I'm not getting free hair thrown at me all the time. So when I wear a wig, it's being worn multiple times. And usually those times aren't, you know, consecutively in, in a row. But still with this, like the third install, it was messed up. And keep in mind, I did the first install at home by myself. And the other two were done professionally. And by the end of that third install, it was messed up. And my installs are two weeks. Like, I never leave an install in longer than two weeks. So, yeah, three installs. And this was like, basically, you could throw it in the trash. And I really hate that. Like, that's not what you expect for the money. I did not expect for fillers to be in this hair. I just, I don't know. It's so dry. And, like, no matter how much I love on it, it just stays dry. And that's why it mats up so much. Like, there's no way to keep moisture in this hair. And I will say that that is why a lot of companies don't do blonde but when you have good hair and you dye it blonde you don't have these problems these problems come from lower grade hair being dyed blonde this is when it turns into a hot mess like this and it's definitely the more you wash it because each time you wash it you're drying it out and mine was washed between installs so i washed it when i first got it that was one i washed it for my first install and then she washed it before she did the second install so after three washes, this wig was basically done. And that's so unfortunate. And like I said, I don't think that YouTubers are trying to give, like are purposely giving good reviews to bad hair. I think it's more so that they haven't experienced the hair enough. Like because they're getting so many wigs, they have the luxury of just doing something for one install or for a couple days or hell, even just putting it on for the video and taking it off. I don't have that luxury yet. So, and even if I did, I'm going to wear a wig a couple installs before I give a review on it because of stuff like this. Because this is not okay. And I am disappointed. Um, I will be trying them again maybe this was just a bad wig i don't know i don't know maybe this one doesn't fully represent them as a company we will see but um the construction of the wig was really great besides it only having those four inches the rest was really good it has um combs in it and i like to leave my combs inside it has these little things and it came with um a strap that you can like sew onto it that's adjustable also and I really like that and this is very stretchy and breathable I love the material of it so the construction of the wig is fine it's just the hair itself is like horrible and I hate it because this wig is so beautiful the color is amazing and it's why I you know like dyed my own hair because I just love the look so much I was like well I need to be blonde too so yeah, unfortunately, this hair is a hell no. If you are thinking about buying this hair, do not buy. Like, proceed with a lot, like a hell of a lot of caution. 
because it's not worth it unless like this is some one night only type hair so this wig specifically this isn't like a review on the brand because this is the only wig that i've tried from them so far if you plan on using this as like an investment like adding it to your wardrobe now this isn't one of those wigs this is a wig that you can only wear a couple times and you got to throw it out so if you like to keep your wigs for a while and reuse them this ain't the one love all right y'all like i said this is not a review of the company per se this is a review of just that one wig i am willing to give the company another chance i'll probably order from them again in the future just to like actually test the quality of the brand itself because i don't feel like it would be fair to judge it off of one wig especially um you know if it's my first time buying from them but thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments below oh and if you like this outfit that i'm wearing make sure you check out my she and summer haul part two don't forget to like and subscribe and as always stay bougie